Hi, this is Jeff, a product specialist here at Redcourt Software, and I'd like to show you some of the exciting new features in Virtual Time Clock 14. We actually delayed the release of Virtual Time Clock 14 to resolve an issue that was causing prior versions of Virtual Time Clock to run slowly if they were connected to a government-provided internet time server. That issue has been fully resolved in Virtual Time Clock 14. Virtual Time Clock 14 received a front-to-back interface update to add a modern look and feel and yet still remain familiar to our time clock users. You'll see new colors, icons, and toolbar buttons. Starting with the main program icon, Virtual Time Clock used to have a single icon to represent multiple products. Each edition of Virtual Time Clock now has its own unique icon to make it easier to know which version you're downloading and using. Let's start with the main time clock window. We've streamlined the user status window to make it quicker for employees to perform an action like clocking in and out. Let me show you. It's now quicker to edit an out memo. Or add a time card entry note. Or to perform an action like starting your day. Time clock administrators and managers can now directly access an employee's user status without having to first turn on administration. We've also added some new options for hiding the toolbar or changing the icon size. These new options are available from the view menu. I can use large icons or I could hide the toolbar altogether to customize the time clock just the way I want. You can also change the font size of the in outboard list. There's a new elapsed time column that allows you to easily monitor when employees are due for a meal break or when they're finishing up a project. If you choose not to show the elapsed time column, it's easy to remove. Let me show you how. First, we're going to turn on administration. Go to configure, display groups, list columns, and unselect elapsed time. Now when you return to user mode, the elapsed time column is no longer displayed. We've also added a new full screen mode for pin, passcode, and in outboard list that works great with touch screens and laptops. Let me show you how to enter full screen mode using the pin interface. I go to the view menu and I pick enter full screen. The time clock now takes over the entire screen and hides the desktop. Now let me show you some of the administrative changes. Let's turn administration on. You immediately notice the new icons on the toolbar. Hidden columns are now always displayed in administration mode, so you always know the complete status of each employee. The user status window now stays open after performing an action. This allows you to perform multiple administrative activities without the user status window automatically closing. This was an enhancement requested by multiple customers. Let's look at a new change in the entry editor. We've added the day to the start and stop dates to make it easy to see which day of the week the entry occurred on. We had numerous requests for this, so customers no longer have to refer to an external calendar to find out what day of the week the employee worked on. The messaging system received an updated interface, including the ability to change the font size. We've made numerous workflow enhancements to the configuration control panels. 
For example, some of the combined control panels have been split for greater security access. An example is shifts and schedules, leave categories and leave awards. We've also added numerous workflow shortcuts. For example, within configure users, you can now directly edit time deductions, departments, and overtime rules. I mentioned at the beginning of this video the update to using the internet time server. That setting is now found in time settings. You'll find many more useful enhancements to Virtual Time Clock 14 as you start to use the new version. If you'd like more information on what's new in Virtual Time Clock 14, please visit our website at www.redcourt.com.